Okay, uh, tonight, uh, Sheriff's Office received information from the Office of Inspector General of the TDCJ about an escapee suspect and murder suspect uh, providing a vehicle information on a vehicle that the uh, suspect stole in Centerville, Texas today. Uh, we mobilized uh, our officers to the highways. A short time later, we received additional information that the suspect was in San Antonio. So we deployed uh, officers on uh, all the highways, major highways. Uh, at, at a later time tonight, an officer investigator from Atascosa County uh, spotted to pick up about six miles north of Poteet on Highway 16 southbound, confirmed the license plate number as the pickup truck stolen in Centerville. Uh, he followed it and so he could get additional assistance and he actually followed it to almost in here to Jordanton, uh, at which time Jordanton Police Department uh, spiked the vehicle, uh, flattening all four tires. Uh, the vehicle uh, turned on the spur up here and then went out into a field. It got back on Highway 16 and where officers were in pursuit of it, it's heading south. The suspect stuck a rifle out of the window of the truck and fired several shots. He turned on this street here, which is Cypress. He went down there and struck a telephone pole and bounced off of that telephone pole, went down the road a little bit further, crashed into another telephone pole in the fence. He exited his truck. He, he fired additional rounds. Uh, at least four officers returned fire uh, at the suspect. Uh, there were several shots fired. Uh, no officers were injured and the suspect is deceased. Was there a high speed chase? Did the suspect know that you were following him? No. The officer stayed behind him, so not to alert the suspect that he was being tailed until we got close to Jordanton, where Jordan the police spiked the tires, and then uh, we did get in a sharp pursuit from about the Exxon station behind you, uh, right to here. Sure. The, go, go ahead. Matt, go ahead. The four officers who exchanged fire, are they all Jordanton PD or are they sheriff's deputies? Or? They're uh, officers from Atascosa County. Okay. All four of them? Yes. yes. Can you talk about what you found in the vehicle, no, any additional weapons? No, ma'am. Uh, currently, it's it's under investigation now. The shooting and everything is under investigation by the Texas Rangers. And so I'm not going to comment on any other details, what we found in the truck, anything like that. I, I'm well, unable to comment on it. At, at any point, were the residents that live in this community, which I understand is a senior living housing, uh, were they alerted or in harm's way? Uh, we don't believe they were. We checked with the residents afterwards to make sure everybody was okay. Sheriff, sure, when the suspect pointed the gun out and started shooting, were any other buildings or homes like that hit, to, to your knowledge right now? Not to my knowledge. Uh, Chief Kaiser with Jordan Police, his officers uh, uh, checked with the nearby residents to confirm everybody was okay. And this, this suspect is also wanted in the, uh, five murders in Central Texas today as well. So we had good reason to believe he was a dangerous suspect and why we took the steps we took to uh, not alert him to our presence. The Department of Criminal Justice had suggested he had some ties to the San Antonio, San Antonio area. Is that why you guys were sort of on high alert waiting for him or is it just standard procedure after a bolo? You know, I, I received information from uh, this officer here. He's with TDCJ, Office of Inspector General. Uh, he notified me of, of the escapee and we received additional information from the U.S. Marshal Service that he may be in the San Antonio area. So then we heightened our alert and sure enough, we, we uh, spotted him. About what time did you guys heighten the alert? I've lost track of time. I couldn't tell you right now. I don't even know what time it is, but it, uh, Late. a couple hours ago. Yes, so what time did the shooting happen? Uh, a couple, uh, hour and a half ago, maybe. Uh, can you talk about just, uh, this is a dangerous individual, uh, already wanted for serving time and wanted for five additional murders. Can you talk about just how scary it is for, for this to be happening so close and for this to have ended so close in our community? Well, yeah, it, it is frightening to think that he ended up right here in our, in our city, in our county. Uh, he is uh, accused of killing a family of five today in Centerville, Texas. So right there tells you just exactly how dangerous he is. He was in prison for murder. So he's serving a life sentence already. So he, he you know, he didn't want to go back to prison, obviously. And, and we knew what kind of uh, person he was and what kind of action he probably was going to take. 
generally after an officer involved shooting DPS would take over the investigation but with this being prison system do you know if it's TDCJ or if, it's, if, if the Texas Rangers would come in? No, uh, the Texas Rangers will handle the shooting investigation. Gotcha. Chief, do you have anything to say this happening in, in your city limits here? No, we, we have an excellent working relationship with the neighboring agencies so this was a good example of how we work together to stop somebody like this from causing any more harm to anybody here or anywhere in Texas. So I, I appreciate the the work of our officers and the deputies from the Sheriff's Department and Pleasant and Police Department, Highway, other, Patrol. Highway Patrol, other other a area agencies that, that joined in to make sure we got this guy stopped tonight. Any idea how many shots were fired? Uh, multiple shots were fired. I, you know, I, I probably I probably heard 20 shots myself and there's probably more than that fired. He actually started shooting when he was still here on the highway and turned here and he had the, the rifle out the window. So there was multiple shots fired. Is the vehicle down that ditch then in that area? Yes, ma'am. It's about a, a two blocks down. All things considered, no injuries. Uh, it seems as if it turned out about as well as it could have as far as you all are concerned. As far as we're concerned, yes, sir. The, this dangerous individual is off the street uh, and uh, no officers were injured. No citizens were injured, so yes, it's 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 a good evening. What happens next, and how long will you guys be out here? Well, we'll be out here quite a while. Uh, some of my investigators are assisting the rangers. Uh, Highway Patrol here is uh, uh, to, to assist us, and the, their captain here is behind me. Uh, so I imagine there'll, there'll be officers out here for two, three hours. Sheriff, the investigators had, had let you all know that there were people that he was related to in the area. Is it known that he had made contact with them before? I don't have any inform case? I don't have any information about that, uh, who he might be related to in this area. I have zero information about that. Anything you want to add, Sheriff? No. Uh, just glad it turned out the way it turned out, you know, and uh, we'll just have to go through the rest of it now. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Right, thank sure. you.